I'm jumping into DDR Mario Mix 64 is the next one. Yo, what up? Oh me, oh my, it's horrible. Waluigi has stolen all of the music keys from the music tower. You have to go stop him. Go to the valley with truffle towers. Sounds good to me. I've been known to do things like that. This hack is meant to be a reimagining or a bridge version of Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix in an attempt to make it a traditional 3D platformer like SM64. Uh, true. Well, I'm taking a swim. There might be something cool down here like water. I mean, could you blame me? Yo, what up? It's me, Toad. I've taken on the disguise of a sign to hide from Waluigi. Kind of brilliant, actually. Bowser's minions are also around, so watch out. But first, we have to cross the river. If only we had a wing cap. It may not look like it, but this current will literally swallow you up. Let's just start by hopping into this boat. The reason I chuckled is because I assume maybe they couldn't get the Toad here, <laughs> but wanted it. I'm in a boat. <laughs> uh, I'm down. All right, be on the lookout for cock rock. I've heard some things. Bong. Sorry, this area is crap. Damn, I didn't think it was crap. You gave me water, which is quicksand, and a shell. I was feeling it. Of all the stuff I played yesterday, I was sitting there when I was done thinking about the skateboard hack. That's the best shit, you know? I thought you were looking for music keys. Oh, you need to, these stars to reach the other locations. Oh, there aren't any other locations in this hack? Oh, <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, okay. <laughs> Just move to the castle. Say no more. You had me at castle. How do you know that's quicksand? How do I know that's quicksand? Fair point. When someone asks a question like that and you, you, you don't have a good answer, <laughs> the game did tell me it would kill me. Mario surveying the area and getting ready for an attack. Nobody is safe. Fuck. Alright, what does the sign say? Mario, you have to help me. These Koopas came up to my house and started ravaging my farm. They already killed all of my carrots and buried my money. If you can collect the money, you can just keep it. At least I hope you're reading this, Mario. I'm out at the moment, getting a new cloud after the Koops stole mine. By the way, Mario, I'm actually a sign, not the toad. <laughs> Alright, well, I only need 80 coins in this hack. I'm digging this area. That's kind of- What the fuck? That's like such a pretty looking castle. I had a Nigerian prince promise me one of those castles before. I, I didn't take the deal because I figured I, if where would my work ethic go if I was just a crazy millionaire? So it just seemed unfair to take that. Are these not real? Have I been tricked multiple times? Green Demon episode? Bonus episode just started now? Fuck. That's bullshit. He got his teammate to distract me. Yo, 20 coins right here. Maybe even 25 if there's one in the middle. I'm kind of moving on the enemies in this hack. You think you can get on top of the castle? Well, yeah, of course I do. I think I can do anything I put my mind to. He put a one up up here. I love that. Bud, what do you say? You want to get a star with me? Wow, that would be really fucking hard, actually. Well, I didn't expect this to happen. I probably should have just got the other star. Like, <laughs> it took me so long to get back up here. The eight reds didn't take that long to collect. Oh, the star's down there. <laughs> actually, what do I even want to do here? Underground Mozart? Underground Mozart, dude. Do you think there's a Koopa society underground? Actually, water as quicksand is kind of refreshing. <laughs> Oops. It is refreshing. It's my- <laughs> the best night of sleep I've ever had was going in there. <laughs> Alright, was this a loading zone? Damn it. I got tricked. I gotta find this underground Mozart thing. I might have found it. Cool. Dude, this area is schmoovy as fuck. Oh, wait. Hold on. This area is starting to look sus even. This couldn't be it. The underground Koopa civilization. That was a very pretty area. This is really well done for a first hack. I have to completely agree. The texture work was just sick. Didn't look like a noob at all. Can you go in here? Is this the loading zone? Oh, it is. 
Wait a minute, wasn't this a tower? Why is there a ceiling with windows? That's how it is in the original DDR Mario mix, so blame Nintendo. I will blame Nintendo. Those dumb idiots. I bet you were expecting Waluigi. Well, he was here, but then he tried to start a dance off and I just crushed him. You ran away with the music keys though, so I'm mad. I'll have to take this out on you. Damn, Waluigi was here, but got crushed. Maybe I should have taken Waluigi up on that offer. Secrets in the Truffle Tower. Oh, okay. We're going back. Yeah, I just knew exactly where to go. Dude, I hit that! Let's go! <laughs> the double long jump at the wall. Yeah, this was a very nice well-rounded hack. This is what I had wanted all the other hacks to be uh, in the previous competitions, but they would end up being this five times, five levels of the same thing. This was really good. I really like this. Did they really say this was their first hack? Yeah, okay, cool. All right, Guitar Hero 64, we're, sh we're sh moving on in. This was made by Arctic Jaguar. Should be pretty good. <gasps> this is already like, maybe started as strong as possible. Okay, it, they really just hit me with like one of the greatest Mario Maker sound effects of all time is their title stinger. And then, and then a, a great song with some great visuals telling you what the song is. Like, hello, we're, we're in the ultimate start territory. I'm holding the wrong fucking controller. Welcome to the first ever publicly released ROM hack. This is Guitar Hero 64 made by me. As you can probably tell, modeling isn't really my strong suit. However, I do have reasonable proficiency with code and music, so hopefully that will make up for it. What the fuck? I have to read a book. There's a book here. Whamming. Okay, that's probably gonna be joystick control, yeah? The sign is a bonus. Nice. So far, I've learned two things. These are really just Guitar Hero rules. Wow. Okay. Oh shit. A nice place to cool down after you play. I'm sorry, the music doing this when I went underwater was too cool. The music slowly fades out as he approaches the Rainbow Man. Imagine a world where nothing ever changes. A place where you shall reside for ages. Imagine a land with security so great not anybody has ever escaped to date. What if I told you I know the way to a place where you will live your every last day? Now watch as your life follows a brand new trail as I welcome you, my friend, to Gay Baby Jail. No way, a visitor! Oh boy, Jet's gonna be so pumped! Uh, I mean, welcome to the one and probably not the only Gay Baby Jail or GBJ for short. GBJ is a place where you will reside for the rest of time. You want out? Too bad, so sad. Goodness, you absolutely must speak with the boss about our various softlock getaway packages. Please follow me. Everything, bud? Please maintain a few feet. Just because the country is technically opened up doesn't mean I want to stop practicing social distancing. What's up? The boss will tell you all about our luxurious soft locks we can provide you at this time. Please, do have a word with him. I know, this is actually so gorgeous. Look at the sky. If you had to be stuck somewhere, this isn't the soundtrack you want, but this might be the venue. Uh, let me join you. Hey look, a newcomer. Thank you for choosing Erickson's Gay Baby Gel Emporium. Yeah, yeah, I know my character arc is basically dead. Just let me have this one. Damn, that's shade as fuck. Let me give you a brief tour of the place. No problem. Now this right here is a classic. Step right on to our eternal slide. You want a belly slide? We got a belly slide. Nice. Here's an interesting soft lock. Try grabbing this ridge here and stand up. You'll clip out of bounds. When you clip out of bounds, you will die. But that's okay because you have no life counter. Your respawn point will be updated so you can continuously spawn out of bounds resulting in true beauty. I might check that one out. That seems nice. Here's a warp pipe. Where does it lead to? Itself, of course. Ooh, that's good. Jump in and jump out all day, every day. That's a, that's a classic. If you want to go with a more straightforward and classic soft lock, look no further than our GBJ cell. Be careful, getting in is easy, but getting out is not possible. It even comes prepackaged with a friend. Nice, friend arc. Here's one of my favorites. Our one and only painting loop is an absolute joy. <laughs> It even works in both directions. Here we have a warp that leads to a mystical place. What does it offer? Try to find it out. No, it's him again. 
This Koopa over here is an absolute jerk. He is known for putting folks into what we call a permanent loop that cannot be exited. Please do not talk to him. It will ruin my day. Well, that's the tour. If you want me to explain something a second time, you know where to find me. I mean, choices, choices. Safe state and try them all. Well, I know what a belly slide looks like. And I know what... I mean, this one's probably more interesting to view. Ah, right, we saved. Let's try the wall. <laughs> it does work in both directions. <laughs> That's great. I see it now. I didn't know what that meant before. What a cool screensaver. Can someone get these soft locks in the uh, wallpaper engine? And that's exactly what I did. Using space age technology known as I'm the editor, perfect loops are for bitches. I have made the endlessly looping Mario wallpaper of your dreams now available on Wallpaper Engine. Bet you didn't see that coming, huh? You think something so trivial would be a challenge to me? Me match all powerful energy gods! All right, this one is a genuine intriguer right here. I have to see. Oh, nice. It puts me in a void, a worldless world. There's nothing here. There's wind! Man, this really is eternal hell. All right, well, this is gonna be a good one. No hat moment? All of this for an Easter egg and a Guitar Hero I know, this is a fucking Easter egg. I haven't even started the hack yet. I'm, I've been playing the Easter egg for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> you know, I'm not actually a baby, nor am I gay. If you believe otherwise, then you've been duped. Gay baby jail doesn't discriminate. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't care about your sexuality. It doesn't care about anything. Nobody is above GBJ, period. So then why do we call it gay baby jail? I don't know. You know, that was kind of profound. I'll think about that for the next 100 to 1,000 years. The safe state does start at 1. Isn't that insane? I see you have come to escape GBJ by means of a permanent loop that cannot be exited. Very well, I shall grant your request. Wait, you thought I was serious? You absolute moron! We would never let anyone out like this. I was simply placed here as a test of your faith to GBJ. You have clearly and totally failed. By talking to me, you have let down the boss. Anybody that upsets the boss must be punished. Winky face? Your bad deeds shall be treated with only our most unbearable soft flock currently on hand. Behold, fellow sinner, where I have the very ingredient that will contribute to a world of suffering. Toad. Yay, I have been called. Oh boy, are we having party? I love partes. They are so fun, woohoo, yay! This here cringe master Toad needs somebody to keep him company from now on. That responsibility belongs to you now. Now Toad, before you get too excited, I uh, need to do some stuff. Yeah, stuff. <laughs> I'll send fuel. I am Toad. I am going to tell story now. Okay, so one time I went on a walk, which means I had to outside my house. Outside is so cool because you get to do stuff like be cool and not be inside. Did you know I own it? Okay, there's no way. Oh shit, this is the most painful thing I've ever felt. Let me start over, it just said. No, I haven't even started the Guitar Hero thing, I promise. Uh, I don't think it's a jape. Alright, let's play the hack now. Rogueport Sewers, Paper Mario, that thousand in your door. I love this song. Please choose a track to play by entering one of the available pipes by the wall. Generally speaking, the chart difficulties increase from left to right. I'm jumping in without checking it. I should have checked it. What's this? Oh, different difficulties as well? He's insane. I assume this is expert. You definitely want to start on expert to learn the controls. I've never played this on a controller. Holy fuck. I'm actually completely inept. Fuck. Okay, let me think about how feasible it is to just plug in a Guitar Hero controller. Yeah, it's not being recognized as a device in Windows. Oh my god, fall damage. What are you doing? You're insane. Medium. I may be able to can handle that. <laughs> my brain can figure out the buttons. Thank you so much, fall damage, for the 50 subs. Fuck. I'm so bad at this with this button layout. Just wait until I figure out the buttons, it's over. 
All right, my brain wants to hit D-pad buttons a lot, which is incorrect. There's only one D-pad button and it's the right one. I didn't choke. <laughs> We're playing easy. All right, let me learn three buttons and then we'll learn four. After I learn these three, we'll be good. I'm, I'm, I'm dumb. My brain won't do it. The, I keep hitting multiple D-pad buttons and I can't get my brain to only hit the right D-pad. I keep hitting left on D-pad. I can't stop doing it. Damn, I'm hella good at this. I can't believe how good I am. A natural born gamer. There's like, actually basically no input delay. It feels like, but I am hitting it early. They said with um, D-pad up and down, I think it was. You could change the offset. As well, so if there was actually latency in this hack, based off either the plugins you're using, or your monitors, or maybe your controller has some lag because it's a shit controller, uh, you would be able to still play this by offsetting. So this is like all around just like a perfect Guitar Hero recreated because literally everything is here. And if you wanted to use a Guitar Hero controller to play this, that would work as well. If I thought, knew that I was going to do this today, I would have set it up in advance, and I think it would have been incredible. But man, this is one of the coolest hacks I've ever seen. It, you really can do anything with Mario 64. I know I'm playing easy and looking like a noob, but in in the future, I'm going to stream this again, and I'm popping off on this hack with the, with the proper controller. You can hold me to that one. I have star power. There's even star power. I fucked it up. I lost my combo. Oh god, I'm feeling dizzy in the club. I'm crying. I'm crying in the club right now. Aw, oh, shit. My brain stopped working. Oh, wait, they said there was a... You can make it appear faster by pushing L. I made it slower and I can't read that. I'm trying to make it faster without losing though. I prefer this personally. Actually really prefer it like this. Holy shit. This hack has it all, dude. Damn. I just lost to not knowing how the song was supposed to sound there. Not a real fan. This is awesome. Oh yeah, I forgot about the whammy. I assume, what would that be, the joystick? I'll try four buttons. I'll learn one more button real quick. Uh, this hack has a very unfortunate thing about it, which is that I just want to play it for way too long. <laughs> that That's, that's a, a downside. <laughs> too good out of 10. No, I pushed the wrong button. Mm, 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 yep, I'm ready. Yeah, this hack set out to do a goal and just absolutely killed it. And honestly, uh, in the beginning when I was reading the signs from the creator of this game, he was shit talking his like, his modeling and stuff. But this is a badass looking room. I feel like I'm finally understanding what it feels like to be Pikachu. It's a box though. I mean, everything's a box. Name one thing that isn't a box and I'll call you dumb. Oh wow, a lot of dumb people showing up, huh? Oh, wrong button. Honestly, the default uh, layout isn't even bad. It just requires some getting used to and programming your brain to do some weird pushing deep bad button shit. And then I get I just get desynced completely every once in a while. I was I was questioning the validity of D-pad right, but I can see how that becomes an intuitive left to right way of reading. It's just my brain literally never uses the D-pad. This is so cool. I'm a simp for this game. You think Okai would be proud of me? Or embarrassed? I know I'm losing it, Mr. Crab. I was kunking for a moment there, dude. These controls look awkward. Well, you could remap them to literally anything you wanted, but I think for default controls, they're pretty intuitive. Remember to whammy. I keep forgetting. Which button is the whammy? Fuck. Oh no. I'm not ready for the fourth button. Fuck. My brain just couldn't do it. This is so cool. 
This is going in my must plays immediately. All right, we're playing one more song actually. I'll try medium since I'm a noob. I keep forgetting that whammy's a thing. I don't. I don't know how to whammy. <laughs> I was trying some buttons to do it and fuck. Damn it! I was kunkin. This is so cool, oh my god. Fuck, those doubles are actually kinda hard. But I think it's only hard because that's a, uh, the left trigger of a, a 360 controller. That is way too fun. That is just awesome. This act's awesome.